If you like to buy secondhand authentic football shirts, then you'll know the risk of getting scammed is always out there. Ever since I've embarked on my kit collecting journey years ago with the end goal of owning every Roma kit since the year 2000, I've taken my fair share of L's and in this video I'll give you an insight on some of my misfortunes. Considering I've already made a dedicated video on it, my biggest defeat in the kit collecting space where I bought a tampered Italy 2006 kit with the fake Puma logos and name sets from classic football shirts will not be in this video, so check it out if you are interested. Nonetheless, starting with the first L that I took, this happened at the very beginning of my journey. I had no experience, but a shirt missing at the time from my collection was the 2012-2013 Roma home kit. I found someone selling it for cheap, and so I met him in person for the exchange. So perhaps I deserved what happened next, considering I actually drove to meet someone selling a Michael Bradley kit. No hate against the guy, but who even bought one of these unironically? At the end of the day, all I wanted was the kit regardless of the name set. Unfortunately for me, it turns out that this shirt was a fake and here's how I soon realized. First of all, the badge looks wonky to the eye and it becomes very apparent when you compare it to the original. And the second giveaway were the Kappa logos. Although in general, they look well stitched, this season you'd have to know that the Kappa logos weren't like so. They weren't stitched. They were actually a weird 3D sort of material. The third and final giveaway was in the internal tags. Now each shirt for those seasons specifically had its own features to look for when it comes to the internal tags. And the original home shirt looked like this in terms of the tags. And it mentioned, it's obviously made in China, for the 2012-2013 season using the word annual right before that. The fake I bought on the other hand just said this, it just said annual 2012 or something like that. And so obviously I should have known immediately looking at the internal tags that this was obviously a fake. A rookie mistake from myself, I suppose you could say that while we met in person, I was both distracted by it being my first exchange, as well as I was just not fully aware of the details to look for. And while I did try to reach out to him to see if I was able to just give it back, I wasn't able to, and so I was left with this fake shirt and a lesson learned. Moving on to the second L, this time it somehow managed to come from the official AS Roma stores in Rome. Not once, not twice, but three separate times in 2002, 2007, and 2009. The worst part is, I didn't realize until recent years. Obviously, all of these shirts are authentic, but they share one characteristic that ruins it for me, and that is that they were sold to me with the wrong types of name sets, makeshift name sets, if you will. I know it's hard to believe considering I claim to have bought them from the Roma store in person, which I did, and I was absolutely heartbroken when I realized this recently, but the truth is that at the time, although they were the official stores, the Roma stores in Rome were not run as professionally as they are now. Add to the fact that I wasn't as diligent and as obsessed as I am today with collecting, and you know, this is a possibility, this is the result. The only reason I even realized is because once I started looking online for the shirts my collection missed, I saw that these shirts in my searches and you know I realized you know I have these shirts but why is it that even though I have them they have different colored name sets than the ones I have. So upon further research I had realized that the Roma store employees at the time bamboozled me when they should have probably let me know they didn't have the official name set and that if I really wanted to add one to the shirt it would have been with a makeshift one not the ones that would be seen on the field but even then why would they even have makeshift name sets. Wouldn't an official store either have them or be out of stock? The whole thing was really weird and it's just super frustrating, but ironically, I got over this faster than the Bradley incident because although both could have been avoided with me being more diligent on the spot, you should be able to let your guard down in an official store. The third and final L of this video revolves around the theme of Serie A and UEFA patches that are usually placed on the sleeves. All three of these shirts were given to me with either a fake patch or the wrong one. And let's start with this 2004-2005 orange Roma kit with the Dotti name set. Now the kit is totally legit. I got it from an online seller, but it wasn't until I did some digging with the help of a connection of mine that I realized the Serie A patch was actually fake. I didn't get it. Why ruin this perfectly good shirt with a fake Serie A patch? I know that you can get away with it since most people may not notice such tiny details, but is it really worth it just to be able to sell it for more? And even by what? By what? 10 euros? I mean, what a waste 
of a perfectly good kit. Anyways, there isn't enough time in this video to explain how to know which Serie A patches are real and which are fake, especially from the early 2000s, considering the logos were constantly changing. But this one specifically, you can tell by the shapes, fonts, color, and also that this part of the border is not outlining the letters correctly. Moving on to the final two, however, these were much more frustrating because like what happened to me with the fake name sets from the Roma store, this happened in another legit football shirt store. Not the Roma store, but a well-known outlet. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about because the UEFA respect patch looks good, it's because this time I managed to go back to the store in time and get it fixed. It was very difficult because the store owner didn't believe me at first and I had to bring an example in person but they ended up fixing the shirt and reapplying the correct patch in the end. But basically what had happened is that they had applied the wrong UEFA respect patch. Specifically they applied the ones that were usually only used in national team jerseys exclusively like this one right here that I'm showing you on an Italy jersey. Minor details, but obviously when you compare them, you can see that the UEFA logo, the background, the material, stuff like that, they're different. They're two different UEFA respect patches. After I convinced the store owner, they ended up going back, removed what they could of the previous patch and applied the correct one. It's a bit thick now at the touch, but it was my only option other than doing nothing, considering that both of these shirts were at that time sold out and there were no more in the store. So that was really the only thing I could have done. That's going to be it for the video, though. I hope you guys enjoyed and that it gave you some insights on how absolutely anything and everything can and will go wrong in your kit collecting journey, even in the seemingly most trustworthy places. Let me know what experiences you've had down below and I'll see you in the next one.